If you want to know the best TV shows based on a true story, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. You have to drive the bus, okay? Which I can do, okay? And you have to memorize the stops, which I can do. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. So uh, what you think about BMF? The hell that stands for? Big Meat Flannery, nigga? Black Mafia Family is a crime drama television series created by Randy Huggins. This tale about drugs, brotherhood, and betrayal in the pursuit of the American dream unfolds the true story of one of America's most influential crime families. As two brothers rise to power, their cornerstone of crime is loyalty to family, and as their bond exceeds just the world of drug trafficking, their trademark becomes international. But being an iconic gangster on a global level comes with a price. BMS stands for Black Mafia Family, fool, and it represents everything we about to Shit, we black? Our crew is structured like the Mafia, and we all a family. Number 9. Ese, ¿cuánto gana? 1,100 pesos. Bueno, yo gano 900. Seguí con el fútbol. Tenía razón. Maradona, Blessed Dream is a biographical drama television series created by Alejandro Aymeda. Watch the man who came from nothing, took the world of football by storm, and made it into the hearts of millions. As a boy from Argentina and with nothing but a dream of greatness, legendary football player Diego Armando Maradona left his mark on the International Football League while stirring up controversy with a life full of sex, drugs, and public scrutiny. Number 8. Are you mocking me? No. Maestro. What is it? Leonardo is a historical drama television series created by Frank Spotnitz and Steve Thompson. Following the world's legendary artist Leonardo da Vinci, this story recounts his life through the works that made him famous, revealing little by little the inner torment of a man obsessed with attaining perfection. But in 1506, Leonardo is accused of the murder of Caterina de Cremona. Questioned by an ambitious officer, Leonardo begins to tell his life, and the detective must dig deeper to unfold the truth. Tell me, do you find it easy to pick up women? Because your routine needs a lot of work. You are perfect ones. We are all of us born perfect. Number seven. They unwind in different ways, either, either we're going out drinking or that. I could put on clown makeup and I was relaxed. John Wayne Gacy, Devil in Disguise, is a crime docuseries created by Rod Blackhurst. Following one of the world's most notorious serial killers, this six-part true horror tale will grab viewers on a traumatizing roller coaster ride, told through the words of monster John Wayne Gacy himself, often interluded with the people left in the aftermath of his horrifying deeds. As the events unfold, we might learn that the full truth is concealed to this very day. We would visit uh, different hospitals and uh, entertain the children there. And we didn't entertain them with handcuffs or anything like that. All we used was uh, balloon animals and small toys and stuff like that. Number six. It was vendetta against Germany being humiliated. It was national pride that Germany needed to rise again. How to Become a Tyrant is a docuseries created by David Ginsburg and Jake Lauffer. Narrated by fan favorite Peter Dinklage, this series invites us on a horrifying journey that explores a shocking truth about human nature. We all want to shape society according to our beliefs of right and wrong and gain the absolute power to do so. Over the course of the series, we are given insight into what mighty dictators throughout history have claimed absolute power and how they managed to sustain it. The National Socialist German Workers' Party, otherwise known as the Nazis. Hitler now has a platform to vent his outrage and a loyal group of followers hanging on his every word. Number five. The show didn't work. That's fine. I know what I have to do. And what is that? Halston is a biographical drama miniseries created by Shar White. Everyone once knew his name before he became so great that his life spun out of control. Telling the infamous story of legendary fashion designer Halston, the film follows him from the beginning, from making up his extravagant name to skyrocketing to the top of the fashion business. As a worldwide symbol of luxury, sex, status, and fame, his fall from grace couldn't have been greater. I'm too big for that room. I need to get out on my own. 
You are fucking impressive, man. Number four. Now to the long anticipated return of Tiger Woods, his first pro tournament since he left the game in scandal. Tiger is a documentary miniseries created by Matthew Heineman and Matthew Hamacek. The Rise, The Fall, The Return. This honest documentary circles around the legendary Tiger Woods and mainly examines his relationship with his father and its tremendous impact on him becoming the man he is, as well as a celebrity figure. Following him on a rocky journey to the world of golf, we experience his relationships with former lovers, lost loved ones, friends, and enemies. The players are looking at him, the fans are looking at him, the television's looking at him, which means the world is looking at him. Number three. But, you know, what they're always asking is, like, what kind of artist should they be? But they always say, you know, do you think, you know, I should, do you think I should be a writer or a filmmaker? Pretend It's a City is a docu-series created by Martin Scorsese. This biographical documentary is a journey of nostalgia and passion for the two creative heads, Fran Lebowitz and Martin Scorsese. As the two go on an emotional journey of their history with New York City, we become witnesses to the influence the Metropole had on its people and what it means to be a New Yorker, all strengthened by archived footage of the two wandering around the city. People that age, the age of your daughter, yes. um, and somewhat older, very often approach me um, to ask me my opinion of what they should do in life. Like, you know, Fran, do you, and I always think, like, first of all, I don't care what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. His dad left uh, his home when he was three, and John didn't see him until he was famous. McCartney 321 is a documentary miniseries created by Mark Monroe and Paul McCartney. This raw and honest depiction of one of the world's most famous, successful, influential, and truly important artists will take every fan on a journey of doubt, fears, and passion. In this sit-down conversation between Paul McCartney and music producer Rick Rubin, the two discuss the artist's early career in the Beatles and following the 50 years of being a solo songwriter. So as a team, that worked. Yeah. Because, you know, I would write, um, it's getting better all the time. And he would go, it couldn't get much worse. Which was like the perfect foil for that song, you know. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Britney went in the bathroom, and after a short time, Sharon discovered her unresponsive on the bathroom floor. They carried her into the shower and turned on cold water to see if they could revive her. Oh, what I would love to have when I'm 40, a husband like that. And his cars were John DeLorean. You were a DeLorean if you bought a DeLorean later on. And that was the dream that he could sell. But it always nagged at me because I knew, I knew he was a serial killer. I knew he was good for more. I knew there was unsolved out there. And I can't get anybody interested in it, in the story. Number one. So they pay more when they have more information. Could you calculate how many uses of Google Earth there have been? Yes. The Billion Dollar Code is a German drama miniseries created by Robert Talheim and Oliver Zeigenbalg. This war against the almighty Google is told in different timelines, which all circle around one issue, a legal dispute between internet giant Google and two German computer pioneers in order to be recognized as the inventor of the Google Earth algorithm. Throughout the show, we witnessed both the hacker scene in the 90s post-reunification Berlin, as well as the idealistic world of Silicon Valley, who clash in a multi-million dollar process. RGB plus Alpha Kanal. Dann haben die am Ende einen speziellen Bass eingebaut. Der macht das Ganze fast 100 Mal schneller. Okay. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.